There's one objection that some people bring forth from other schools of thought. Is that if Al Imam Al Askari Salawatullahi alayhi had a son who is the Mahdi, how come he did not mention him in his will? Because the Imam السلام, had a will, wasiyah. Before you die, you write your will. Previous Imams would make it clear in their will who the next Imam is. Sometimes they would have that in written form. But we find an Imam al Askari in his official will, his will that was publicized, the Imam does not mention his son Al Mahdi. Why is that the case? Doesn't this indicate that he had no son, like others claim? Other schools of thought, they claim Al Askari passed away and he had no son. When he passed away in Samarra, he didn't leave any progeny behind. What is the answer to this objection? That is the case. Al Imam Al Askari did not mention Al Imam Al Mahdi in his will that he is my son and that my inheritance shall go to him. He's my only son. So my inheritance shall go to him. He doesn't make any reference to that. Why? The Imam السلام, deliberately and intentionally, he did not mention the name of his son in his will. Because the Abbasid government was looking for the Mahdi to kill him. Because they had heard that the son of Al-Askari would be the final Imam who's going to establish justice on earth. So they said, let's kill him before he reaches that state. Just like the Pharaoh, who was told by astronomers that a baby boy is going to be born and he's going to bring down your kingdom. What did he do to avoid that situation? He had the pregnant woman, he killed the boys and women who were pregnant, he would slash their stomachs open to kill the fetus if it was a boy. He wanted to do the same thing, the Abbasid Caliph. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. He wanted to do the same thing. So obviously Al Imam Al Askari is not going to mention him in his will because that will make the Caliph go after the Mahdi, go after the Shia. He would imprison the Shia. Where's this Mahdi whom your Imam mentioned in his will? Show us or we'll kill you. By the way, which other Imam we find his will, his official will was vague when it came to appointing his son as the Imam after him. Which other Imam? Al Imam Ja'far al Sadiq In his official will that was known to the government, how many people did he designate to be the you know, successors after him, to be the wasi, those who are in charge of him? How many people did he designate? Five people. You know who were they? One of them was the Khalifa himself. Because you know what the Khalifa said? He said, go and find the will of Ja'far ibn Muhammad Salawatullahi alayhi. Whoever he states in his will that he's my representative, basically the next Imam after me, kill him. So the minister, he went to Ja'far, uh, Abu Ja'far al-Mansur, al-Mansur al-Dawaniqi, the Caliph who killed Al-Imam al-Sadiq He told him, I can't execute that will. He's like, what do you mean you can't execute the will? I'm giving you commands to kill the one whom Ja'far ibn Muhammad stated as his wasi. He's like, then that means I'll have to kill you. He's like, what do you mean? He said he put five names in his will. One of them is you, one of them is his mother, two of his sons, Abdullah al-Aftah and Imam Musa al-Kadhim and Musa. So who are we going to kill? The Khalifa knew the plan of the Imam السلام, and he foiled his attempt. Same thing happened with Imam al-Askari. Imam al-Askari couldn't specify the name of the Mahdi in his official will. So that's why he did not mention him. That's the reason, not because he did not have a son. Otherwise we spoke in our previous class about the evidence that he was born and those who actually saw him. Now,